Hello, viewers, and welcome to Cricketing Mind. We are down to the final two matches of PSL 7, and Lahore Kalandar is going to take Islamabad United tonight in the second eliminator. And the winner of this match will play for the Multan Sultans on Super Sunday. And in order to discuss this match, I have a special guest again, once again, from South Africa, Ibrahim Yusuf. Ibrahim, Assalamu alaikum and welcome. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum and thank you again for having me on Cricketing Mind. Okay, so you can clearly see, him, see Ibrahim wearing a red shirt supporting Islamabad United and I'm also a bit red supporting it, Kalandar a bit. So let's see how the match goes. We are basically supporting uh, each franchise. I'm supporting Lahore Kalandar, Ibrahim uh, supporting Islamabad United. So Ibrahim, uh, head to head, last five encounters. Uh, Kalandar's three, Law, Islamabad United two, a bit even Steven, we can't say that much, but in PSL seven, HPL PSL seven, uh, Lahore Kalandar has beaten twice Islamabad United. Uh, but the, yesterday was yesterday, it's a new game, it's a knockout, it's a pressure game. Uh, United won yesterday, having momentum with them. Lahore Kalandar unfortunately lost the, lost the match against Multan Sultans and didn't qualify for the final. So, what's your take on this match? It's going to be a tough game for United as they have back to back games, but I think they could pull it off with Alex Hales back and Shadab Khan. The team looks a bit more balanced and they a bit more brave with the approach of going for the runs. So I think they. And they I'm might. not sure. I'm not sure whether it's authentic or not. Uh, basically, Paul uh, Sterling has also uh, joined Slamba United squad. I can see the news feed uh, like a couple of hours back. Sterling has also joined Slamba United for tonight's match. Yeah, the qualifiers finished a couple of days back, so it is possible that he's joined. So that, so that will, will be a very, a very deadly a, combo. A even Alex bigger boost. It will be yeah, that Alex will definitely. Is telling at the top. So definitely United will, will be confident to win this one. Okay, Ibrahim, as I said earlier, that's two and two this time, HPL PSL 7. United have lost both the games against Kalandas. One was quite one sided, 60 odd runs, and one was it was a close contest. So are these things in the back of mind of Shadab 11 or it's a fresh day, it's a new day, they will like come out to win the game? It's a fresh day, it's a knockout game. Uh, it could be any anybody's game on their day. It depends on who steps up and who performs. I think whatever happened in the league stage is gone. Today, both teams will look to execute and win on, on this day. Okay, let's talk about some stats. Shadab Khan has like just bowled in seven innings. Uh, as you are aware that he got an injury here and he was uh, almost out of uh, the remaining matches of PSL, but he recovered and he was also available. Yesterday, he's also played a brilliant, brilliant knock with the bat, uh, also took only one wicket. But he's a leading wicket taker right now. Even though he was only played seven innings and he's 18 wickets, he is the leading wicket taker. How impact he will be as a captain and as a complete all-rounder today against Lohar Kalandas? Shadab Khan. I think it will be very, very important to the United team because with in the field as a captain and as a batsman and bowler, he has been leading from the front. So for him to lead again from the front and for the rest of them to follow will be important for them. And the yeah. other guy, and the other guy from Lower Clanders, other guy from Lower Clanders, leading run scorer. It's a very good battle. Leading bowler taker, wicket taker bowler yeah. against Fakhar Zaman. 584 runs with 53 of averages. Five 750s and 100. I mean, he's like uh, unstoppable and doesn't matter who the opposition is. He's just playing and he's too consistent. So, how will Islamabad United control Fakhar Zaman? I think they're going to have to use the main bowlers. Hassan Ali is going to have to step up. And if Mohamed Rasim Jr. is playing today, he's also going to have to step up. And they're going to have to try and get his wicket as early as possible. Okay, so toss will be uh, any impactful for today tonight's match because we have seen Lahore Kalandar is not that much good in chasing his last couple of games. They are uh, like uh, more of a chasing side, but last couple of days we have seen that they couldn't able to chase him in the uh, Peshawar Zalmi super over match. They couldn't able to finish the last games against Sultans. They are like uh, 30, 40 odd shots. So, uh, will it be any impact of toss or uh, it's a uh, like uh, knockout game, uh, put runs on the board and try to chase it? What's your thoughts? I think both teams want to bat first. Put runs on the ball in the knockout, take the pressure off the batsmen, let them play freely, and then let the bowlers come and execute as they know how much runs they have to defend. 
So there will be no impact of due as well on the second innings. If you bat for the second night ball is a bit like wet because it's a nightmare at 7.30 Pakistan time and it will prolong to like 11 p.m. So there is a bit due around and uh, holding a ball is not that much easy. So don't you think that will be a main cause? I think uh, if both teams are, we've seen them before, they've managed to keep the ball dry and execute their skills. If they keep themselves composed and keep manage to keep the ball dry with the towels, I think the Jew won't play a big factor in this game. Okay, we have already decided, uh, like we already discussed a couple of players, Lahore Kalandar side, Fakhar Zaman and Shadab Khan from the United side. Uh, any other player from apart from these two guys who basically have been fabulous and tremendous uh, all season, uh, to whom you rate as a player to watch for today tonight's game? From uh, One from Islamabad side and one from Lahore side. I think uh, the Lahore captain, Shaheen Shah Afridi. And for Islamabad United, it could be Azam Khan. He's Azam been Khan. Stepping up with the bat. So yeah, maybe tonight again he steps up with the bat. Okay, Ibrahim, we have seen in the past that Multan Sultans and a couple of other franchises are like very explosive start in power play, like 50 or 60 or without losing a wicket. They have momentum and they have like enough batting strength at the end, they can accelerate drop. But against Lahore Kalandar bowling lineup, we have seen that few of the franchises, uh, even Multan Sultan, who is like uh, like top team right now, only loses the one match uh, till now. He also a bit, bit shaky or sometimes a bit extra conscious, even Rizwan. So Lahore Kalandar definitely had bowling in depth in lights of Sterling, in lights of Hale, Shadab himself. Do you think uh, Islamabad United will be a bit re- reserved in the power play or they just like gone for the kill and just play with their natural game? Because we have seen in the last couple of games uh, when Shaheen, Haris Rao, Zaman Khan was bowling, uh, even Islamabad United was was not unable to score runs freely. So, would that be a Lahore Kalandar bowling factor or some knockout they will preferably go for the kill? I think it's a knockout game and they should let the United batters express themselves. Go with their natural game and look to score as much as they can. Okay, I won't take you much time because match is going to start like within half an hour uh, or uh, in between. So, uh, like prediction time. It's obvious you are a United supporter. I do agree with that. But considering the uh, form of the teams, Lahore Klander losing the last match, United have the momentum. Uh, Lloyd Dawson played a very super brawl. It's a pressure game. Five five balls, ten required and a six and a four. So, confidence definitely with the Islamabad United guys. But as far as prediction is concerned, only one thing can join Muldan Sultan in the final. Uh, with, as you said, Sterling is back. I think that gives Islamabad an uh, edge. At the moment, it's 50-50, but I'm going to go with Islamabad United to join Multan in the finals. And it seems to be very interested. For, for example, if Islamabad United is going to join Multan Sultan and Multan Sultan is basically defending champions. So if uh, Multan Sultan like wins, that will be a twice first PSL team who will be like... Uh, win the HBL PSL Trophy twice edition. And if Islamabad United wins, that will be a third title. And if Lahore Kalender wins, that will be the first title. So it's a lot of competitive cricket left in the three franchises. All the other three franchises has been like done and dusted and out of the tournament. So let's see how it goes. Ibrahim has predicted his side, Islamabad United, keeping Sterling and Hayes form in mind. Also Shadab Khan. I'm definitely going with Lahore Kalender. Let's see how it goes. Match going to start shortly. And hopefully we will uh, come again tomorrow for the grand finale discussion. Uh, tomorrow is the rest day, obviously. Then 27th, we have a final. So let's see how it goes. Ibrahim will join us tomorrow as well. Keep watching my channel as well as Ibrahim channel. Uh, AB Sports, right? AB Sports Talk. AB Sports Talk uh, from South Africa. And we will like keep entertaining you uh, from the cricket updates. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum.